Good day, fellas. I hope you're ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to play with a Tiger P and I'm actually excited for this. How about that? If you are not aware of that, fellas, Tiger P got buffed back in 2000. 23, if I'm not mistaken, March to uh, 2023, so it became a bit better as a tank, right? Overall, the tank is rated average, looks like community agrees with me. If you are curious about the 3D model, you can check it out yourself. You can um, even click the hold down button to see how the things are looking like with the tank and how it feels like overall. And what the flying F look li looks like there is E25 under this tank, even better, very, very, very nice anyways today we will try to make this beautiful magnificent mother trucker work and uh, we will have some fun fellas like i said before this tank is far away from being uh, absolute garbage compared to how it was before right so that's exciting thing um, it has some benefits compared to the typical Tiger. As an example, best benefit is significantly more armor, right? So that's in a way a um, very good thing for a newer players in the world of tanks. Obviously, the tank is kind of slow. The gun handling is far away from being uh, um, bad. Actually, gun handling is rated 4 stars, so we should hit most of our shots, right? And overall, we should enjoy our experience. Also, keep this in mind, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that this is a Skill for Two Extra channel, right? So if you um, if you did not know about this channel existence, feel free to subscribe. It costs absolutely nothing. And in the same time, you are supporting the channel as well. Looking into this matchmaking, by the way, fellas, um, I would say we are um, we are sitting very, very well here. We are playing in the heavy line, we are top tiers, so I think we can actually make even quite a bit of pressure here. But before that, let's take the safe bush and let's make sure that we are going to punish this Brad Panther playing in the middle of the nowhere, right? This is the goal at first. Ooh. Okay, maybe we do not really want to be so aggressive and maybe we do not want to run away instantly. Meanwhile, there is a light tank sitting over there. Beautiful shot to the light tank. And once again, at the moment, I do not really care that much that this Brad Panther is slapping us as well. It is kind of irrelevant. At this point, I just want to get involved to the best of my abilities and I want to make sure that we are going to punish enemies that are playing in the middle of the field, right? I think that makes sense the most. Meanwhile, Mr. Crocodile is sniping from the back as well. Doesn't really matter, to be completely honest with you, because our intention is just to slap every and each gentleman who is sitting here in the open field, and I believe we can do that well. Gun doesn't feel ideal, but gun doesn't feel bad either, so we can we can definitely hit some uh, longer range shots without bigger problems whatsoever. And at the moment, our mission is just to make sure that we have our our eyes widely open so the tanks like Vaka won't escape without getting punished, right? Ooh, what do we know? We know that in the back we have the Tiger P sniping as well, so that is very, very nice. But to be completely honest with you, it is not that big of a deal for us. We are still sitting very, very well, and in fact, we want to make quite a bit of pressure. Would you look at that beauty? Now, by going super aggressively like this, we can get plenty of the assisting damage and we can do some damage ourselves. So this is what we are looking for and this is what we need, don't you think so? Look at this beauty. Super Hellcat in the open field, that's okay. If he will try to escape, which he does, he is going to take one for the team. Good, and in two seconds we should be able to eliminate him from the game completely. Excellent. If you think I am going to give up over there, no, 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 no. You are not even close. We are going to make quite a bit of the pressure and we want to make sure that we are going to get a proper angle to say hello for Mr. Stuner Emil and this Tiger P, right? Because it is our time to shine. Whenever Tiger P is a top tier, like in this type of situation, we are celebrating. We are having the best time ever and we can be in front and we can just simply make sure that every and each enemy would regret their life choices if they are meeting the Tiger P. You never expected me saying that, huh? How about that? Meanwhile, 
Mr. Crocodile, how are you doing this fine day? Good, we eliminated him from the game. And the next target is going to be the Stuner Emil. Obviously, Stuner Emil is quite a rough tank to eliminate, considering that he has quite an accurate gun and whatnot. But I don't really think we are going to complain about this that much. Oh, Yopter, right? Doesn't really matter, we are okay. Even, Tig even though Tiger P is um, flanking us, or I suppose to say he has a side angle, on us. I do not really think that makes any difference whatsoever to be fair with you. All we want to do, we want to have some fun and we want to get some extra damage in this type of situation. Mr. Tiger P loaded gold. You know what? I can load gold as well. How about that? How about that? I can load the gold. You think I am afraid of you? My man. My man. I am playing with almighty Tiger P myself. Come here, you little magnificent mother trucker. I want to show some love to you. Beautiful game. Fellas, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think this game was pretty much perfect. At first, we played uh, relatively defensively, right? Whenever we saw that our team is winning, obviously, we made as much pressure as we physically and possibly could. And we finished that game very, very well. We should be top by experience and we should be top by the damage. And um, and I think we did a great job, fellas. Okay, let's see. 2.5 thousand damage, 2.1 thousand assisting damage. Very, very nice. Solid first class, which I'm super happy about. Steel wall, beautiful. We are first by experience. We are third by the damage, but that's close enough. I will take that. And we got 41 thousand profits as well. Beautiful. I'm telling you, fellas, Tiger. P is not a pile of uh, shit as it was before. I can't tell you that much. Tiger P nowadays is actually okay and it's playable and you can do a good job with this vehicle. Who could have ever expected that, huh? Okay, fellas. Mannerheim line standard battle. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a bit harder because playing hold down is going to be a bit difficult. But you know what? We are big boys and we are going to be fine, so we are going to survive. I have a couple of choices how to play the game here, playing with a heavy tank. I can be aggressive or I can be passive, right? Um, playing passively wouldn't be the worst case scenario and the worst thing for us. But in the same time, we have the Mr. Patriot going like this, right? And Mr. Patriot um, is capable of eliminating even double penetrator or alternatively Suka Pershing. At least that's what I want to believe. So you know what? We are there, but we are not playing that aggressively. Does it make sense what I'm saying, fellas? We are here, but we are not going to uh, be in uh, in front to the maximum. We just want to stay around this area, and you, we just want to make sure that everyone who would get spotted here, we would have a decent enough angle to punish them for that. Meanwhile, I got spotted, so Suka Pershing out spotted me. Not a big surprise, and I cannot complain about this. This is a very, very, very smart by the Suka Pershing side, right? And he has a view range to slap us. That's okay. Not a big deal. We are feeling okay, and we are not going to complain about this. Even though we lost quite a bit of the hit points. Uh, also... I believe you can definitely see that, that the armor doesn't really last against the higher tiers, right? Let's keep this in mind. Arta isn't coming, we lost the half of the hit points. Ay, 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 ay. In this situation, it doesn't feel great. In this situation, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this tank doesn't feel great compared to the previous game. In the previous game, I felt like I am one of the most powerful mother truckers out there and I can slap enemies left, right and center. But now, um, the situation definitely changed and we cannot go aggressively against Kiliana. We cannot go aggressively against the, uh, against the T-26 um, Echo 4 or better known as Suka Pershing. Yeah, that looks way, way, way harder. That's okay. Looks like he's making a mistake. This is exactly what I'm looking for, and I aim this badly. It's okay. Doesn't really change absolutely anything. We just need to get involved here, and we need to make sure that we are going to punish Kiliana. I am aiming for a track for a very, very serious reason, because if we can track this mother trucker, we can, we can perform significantly better, right? 
This is what I am aiming for. One more shot and we are going to track him. He is tracked, beautiful, very, very nice. And Arta is shooting a piece at us. But it doesn't really change anything. We need to fight for our life. Otherwise, it is going to be a game over anyways, right? I believe we can clearly see that enemy team is um, way more powerful than we are in this type of situation. But it is changing absolutely nothing and we are just trying to get as much use as we physically and possibly can over there unfortunately we missed the shot but that's okay i don't really mind and hopefully fellas this kiliana will drown hopefully okay that was definitely a mistake from my side i thought um i thought maybe that suka pershing would do a bit better job but to be fair with you my aim wasn't ideal either right so that was overall just bad decision because i I simply made pressure in front, right? And that definitely didn't pay it off. But it's okay. I am feeling fine. I'm all right. Mistakes were made. I was too aggressive. I needed to be more passive considering the matchmaking. We are living and we are learning. We are okay. Let's see the score. Okay, we are back. Unfortunately, with a defeat, but enemy team was stronger. So we need to be humble in this situation and accept it. 1.4 thousand damage, uh, 100 assisting damage. Oh, my bananas. Even with this play, we are like second by experience and the third by the damage yeah i overestimated a bit of my uh, a bit uh, my teammates it happens for the best of us i need to look to myself instead of looking for others also in the same time we lost 25000 credits but that's understandable and it's okay we got this next oh yop tararai last but not least we have a very very complicated situation in fact i'm going to be more likely sniper schnitzel here highway standard battle and we are playing against the tier nines this is the worst case scenario but we are going to be okay and we are going to be fine so what do we want to do we want to make sure that oh my bananas look at this our team is heavily invested into this flank okay uh, this is going to be very very hard we need to play significantly more passive here we need to make sure, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that we are going to uh, be able to hit every and each shot that we have a possibility to hit, right? I believe that's fear, and I believe this is exactly what we need. This is going to be a rough one. But you know what? I am mentally prepared for this, and life is going to be beautiful. We are knocking the tree down just like so, and now we are just simply waiting until someone will spot someone. That's all we need for a full happiness, right? That is all we need. Okay, patience. We got this. We got this, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be definitely a passive game. I cannot see myself making any pressure whatsoever here because I just simply feel like it's not really worth it. I could try to risk it for the biscuit and to get involved to the maximum, but is it actually worth it? I mean, this side is pushing in front like a bloody tsunami. That's definitely a problem. Mm, we are getting uh, aggressive. Look. The thing is, we do not really have that many enemies sitting here as well. Pay attention what is happening. Our team is winning this game. We are up by um, 5,000 hit points. Also, our team is pushing in front here like crazy. So this is very, very difficult way for us to, um, to do pretty much anything over there. Although I am definitely paranoid about the Mr. E50 sitting in this uh, position, I don't really think I have any other option option but to get involved and to uh, try to get as much use as we physically and possibly can okay meanwhile we met equal opponent over there t29 is shooting gold i am shooting gold so both of us are pretty much doing some smart trades over there and i am winning a bit because i have a bit higher alpha damage which is very very much appreciated oh my bananas there is um smv sitting here I would love to penetrate him like so, which we did. And now T29 is getting free shot. Not a big surprise, and I am feeling kind of all right over there. Oy, 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 oy. What a hard game this is. Well, this is the life of being bottom tier heavy tank. 
In this type of situation, we cannot complain about this. We cannot cry about this. We need to be smart and we need to get involved somehow without losing too much of the hit points as well. So what we are going to do, I am hoping that we can slap the living crap out of this uh, T29, right? This is what I am hoping for. I cannot peek for him because this would end up very, very badly for us. So we need to find the different angles. And in the same time, all luckily we have a sniper schnitzel convoy. Pay attention what the convoy is doing, fellas. Convoy is making sure that he is going to punish this, uh, this gentleman. Excellent shot by the convoy. That's great. Now, hopefully he won't penetrate us. He didn't. That's okay. I should be able to reload a bit quicker than this gentleman will. Beautiful. Very, very nice. And soon we are going to have a very complicated situation when E50 is... Uh, showing the dominance towards us. I hope, fellas, that we are going to survive and we are going to be all right. As you can see, he's trying to go sideways like this and he is definitely considering his life choices going for us. Luckily, we got the shot and now he's down to fartable and I should be able to reload faster than he is and we eliminated him from the game. What a hardcore, hardcore game, fellas. This is a very difficult gaming experience for us. But we are okay, we are still doing a great job. Now IS-3, can we find a decent angle to punish this IS-3? I believe we will. He is going to sidescraft, which is kind of... Oh, I was about to say, which is kind of irrelevant. But unfortunately, it was more relevant than I expected. It's okay, we are still alive. As you can see, even in the game like this, whenever you are making the proper decisions, you can actually get uh, quite a bit of use, right? And we definitely did a great job over there. Now maybe our assisting damage, yes, we got a half of the assisting damage here. Beautiful, very, very nice. I was expecting this game to go significantly worse. In fact, I am enjoying playing with a tiger piece so much, I want to go for one more, okay? I have a feeling that we are going to go for one more because why the heck not? Beautiful tank. Honestly, nowadays this tank is just fine and it's far away from being um, the biggest pile of kaku in the world of tanks. And back in the day, I truly mean it, fellas, this tank definitely felt like a biggest pile of kaku in the world of tanks. Um, back in the day, it was straight up disgusting. Let's see the score, shall we? And we are back with a solid game considering the situation. 1.9 thousand damage, 900 assisting damage. I'm feeling very, very good with this. And would you look at that, fellas? Absolutely glorious and absolutely amazing. I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling very happy. Plus, on top of that, we got 4,000 profits, which is very, very fine. So far, after three games, our performance is around 2,000 damage, 1,000 assisting damage. So we are playing for 3,000 and combine it which is good let's keep it up okay last but not least we are celebrating christmas fellas uh province standard battle i had a feeling we need to play one more so let's do that look this is looking very very good and we should be able to have a great uh, performance here what i would love to do i would love to cross and I would love to go up like so and just try to make a bit of pressure like this. Oh my bananas, this T-34 fellas, he's having a time of the year and he is just simply enjoying himself to the maximum. He is just enjoying himself to the maximum indeed. Very good. So far, so good. Actually, I may, I may even make pressure like this to counter this light tank. Because they should have a light tank sitting over there. That would be my prediction, fellas. Unless, unless, there is no unless crocodile is sitting here. But I believe someone is closer to crocodile as well. I believe so. M6, please let me go. Okay, good, 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 please. Excellent, very, very nice. And now we are crossing. So, okay, 
our goal is going to be straightforward and very, very simple. I'm a bit afraid if um, if our Cheeto SP would farm everyone on his way, which definitely may happen. But in the same time, I have a feeling and maybe not feeling, but hope that this gentleman will be a bit more of a pussy and he is going to be paranoid on making a lot of pressure. Or maybe Arta would slap him, skill, are you wishing your teammate to die? No. I would never wish something like this, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, but if it would happen, uh, well, it would be unfortunate for a gentleman. That's all we can say. Skill, you mother trucker. I know, right? What an asshole I am. Meanwhile, now we can make pressure. Now we can go in front and we can say hello for this type um, T-34. Beautiful shot. <coughs> 240 in the face. That's nice. Can we punish him once again? Yes, we can. Excellent. How about uh, this cover 1S? Beautiful punishment for cover 1S. Absolutely glorious. Unfortunately, but this auto loader peaked sideways. It doesn't really change too many things for us, even though he fully clipped us out. I just don't care at the moment. All I want to do at this point, I want to keep making pressure here and just to simply get involved to the best of my abilities, okay? My goal is going to be to eliminate this Asterva and eliminate this uh, Kava 1S. In this matchmaking, fellas, we definitely can say that we are feeling powerful and we definitely can say that uh, we are feeling like we are able to slap literally everyone uh, uh, in the face, right? Because it's definitely the case. We need to use this type of situation. Oh, this pesky art. Disgusting. Disgusting, fellas. Not much what we can change about this, though. I am going to make a bit more pressure. Now, as you can see, this gentleman is sniping from the back, which is completely fine. Doesn't really change absolutely anything. We are eliminating him from the game. Now we are going to think about uh, making pressure for this cover 1S. Beautiful. Very, very nice. And now the Cheeto SP is the final boss. If we are able to eliminate this Cheeto SP, we are having the best time ever and we are going to enjoy ourselves to the maximum. Right? That's all we need for a full happiness. Beautiful shot to the Cheeto SP lower plate. That's great. And can we have another one? This is a risky peak, but I'm up to take the risk. Luckily, he did not penetrate us. And now we are making more and more and more pressure. Which is, this is exactly what we are looking for, right? As you can see, this tank feeling, whenever you are um, playing against the lower tears, right, is definitely significantly more powerful. And we need to highlight this, fellas. It is definitely important highlight of, uh, of this game, truly. The tank feels significantly better. Just give me more games like this. Pretty please, let me be a top tier and I will take the Tiger P anytime, any day, and I will enjoy my experience playing with this tank overall, right? So, what do we want to do at this point? At this point, I would love to see this uh, uh, this Panzer sniping from somewhere over there. There is a chance he's sitting in this typical bush. Unfortunately, I am wrong. It's okay. Doesn't really change absolutely anything. Let's wait for it. We got this. We got this, fellas. Very, very, very good. Come on, Panzer, get spotted. What is the chance that Panzer is sitting here? I think this is the other bush now. I really want to get extra shot to get my 2000 in this situation. Uh, the most unfortunate thing for us is that, unfortunately, but enemies has no team in this type of situation, right? It is kind of sad thing, but it is how it is, not much what we can do about that. There is still a tiny chance that Panzer would try to um, decap the base from here. But once again, um, in this type of situation, I think it is very, very unlikely. Speaking about unlikely, we are going to go for a blind shot just like so. Unfortunately, we did not hit him. It's okay. 
no complaints, no regrets, fellas. We did a great job here. We made a hardcore pressure and it definitely paid off, right? Um, I wish to say enemy team was a bit better in this situation, but uh, what can I say? It wasn't the case, right? So... Obviously, fellas, if you played lately with the Tiger P, feel free to say what do you think about it. Do you think the tank is uh, um, as okay as I am saying or being average and compared to the old days, it used to be uh, unplayable pretty much, right? 1.9 thousand damage, 300 assisting damage, second class steel wall. I am feeling very, very happy about this. We are third by experience. We are second by the damage and we got 14,000 profits as well. Beautiful Tiger. Uh, so we finished everything, fellas, with 1.9 thousand damage and 900 assisting damage. I would not call this battle bad, uh, and I would say we did an excellent job. If you are wondering how much do you need to do in order to get a third mark of excellence, you need to do 2,000. That's all you need to do, so we definitely played above that. And for now, fellas, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you had a great time, and I hope you enjoyed yourself, and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.